dear listener, we have just finished recording episode something something of Trusty Hogs. Catherine Bohart was not here. <laughs> I would now like to list some trigger warnings <laughs> of things we have covered today. Andrew, please list. Oh, are you leaving this to me? Okay. I don't even remember. All right, I okay. remember there was uh, sick. Uh, yep, mm -hmm. uh, uh, sick, uh, eating disorders, uh, suicidal tendency. <gasps> Shit, did that? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did earlier. Oh, we, yeah. we, we pretty much went through the whole checklist. Um, just, burglary, just robbing, precaution. mugging. I'm mm. sure there was a reference to sexual assault. 9-11, yeah. um, <laughs> yeah. um, oh, yes. end of the world disasters, tsunamis. Um, <laughs> flashing, that was funny. Flashing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Sour milk. Sour, yeah. Well, that's all in within gagging, I think. Um, <laughs> uh, women pissing themselves on the floor. I nearly did that. I don't know if that's a... <laughs> um, just, I think... Just just, a, if you're in a fragile place right now, maybe go back and listen to one of our archived episodes. <laughs> with, with Catherine. <laughs> <laughs> with, with Catherine calming things down a bit. But oh, a wait, no. How about that episode um, when I wasn't here? Um, when well, it was Catherine... Me, yeah, yeah. Chloe, you and Rialina. That was nice. Uh, Give that, that one a listen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we'll just like to do a little episode though. It, enjoy, enjoy. Oh, it's very fun. It's just it moves through a lot of trauma very quickly. <laughs> I forgot about the suicide stuff. <laughs> yeah, me too. I don't oh. remember which suicide stuff. I think uh. it was before you even arrived. <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> we were doing an old riff riff on a tent. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fat shaming. Fat shaming. Yeah, we we did we both fat shamed for quite a while as oh, two fat women. It was yeah. insane. <laughs> 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 Thank you for listening, and we're sorry. We're sorry. We're sorry. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my thing on airplane mode. Let's get into. Uh, that that is a, a luxury that Helen does not afford us. No. She very regularly takes phone calls and FaceTimes whilst we're on the podcast. I, that was like, I, I had the last one. I did accept it. It was like I actually ignored one for my sister last time, but my sister yeah. called. But we've been talking about pancake. Her, you know, her morbidly obese yeah, hamster. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I answered. Oh wow. Just so we could get a pancake update. And uh, how's pancake doing? Big. Big. Yeah, she went on a diet for a while, but then she was just like crying. Yeah. And then she started eating her houses. But it was unfortunate because there's one house she had to eat. So my mum's a bit toxic. And yes. she bought her a uh, hamster I'm sized house. This podcast, your mum is very toxic. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Helen. I mean, obviously, she must be good. You're not a bin. Through the fog, step Trusty hogs, yeah, you're gonna give them your problems and they will solve them, or maybe they won't, and that's your problem. They'll have guests and Andrew White on the tech. Oh, it's Helen and Catherine as the trusty hogs. Trust the trusty hogs, or maybe not. Hello. And welcome to Trusty Hogs with <laughs> yes! without Catherine Bohart. Catherine's on tour. She's thriving. We've replaced her with another Irish person because as far as I'm concerned, they're interchangeable. It's <laughs> Alison Spittle. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here. I'm so happy you're here as well. I really, what I'm going to ask for you is to bring Catherine energy because okay. I did last week's one without Catherine as well. All right. Just to be clear, Catherine will be returning. Yes. She's great. Like, it's just, she's on break. Isn't it so weird? As a, uh, we, we can talk about, we, let's do this bit. And then let's I Let's just thing. do the, yeah, 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 we can yeah, do yeah, this. Yeah, yeah, we can yeah. do this. Okay. It's me. It's Alison. We've got a fabulous guest. It's Poppy Hillstead. <gasps> And we're going to make this episode so much better than last week's, which was a bit manic because I didn't have a Catherine energy. So just like whatever Alison thing in you is. Do you want me to bring the Catherine? Shut it down. Okay, okay, I can do shut that. Shut it down. Okay. Let's let's snort together. Welcome. Oh, Helen, are you okay? To trust me. Are you okay? Oh, my God. Uh, don't speak about yourself that way. Helen. <laughs> Welcome to Trusty on. Hogs. Dignity. Dignity, Helen. Dignity. Dignity. I know. I'm trying. I am trying. I know. Okay, Look. right. It's okay. Yeah. I would like us to do a really calm, slow chat. All right. I'm yeah. fully aware we're both drinking coffee. <laughs> but I know we have this in this. Okay. Okay. Alison, how are you? Are you? Well, Helen, do you want the real answer or do you want the podcast answer? The real answer. Wait, which one's longer? <laughs> Probably the podcast <laughs> one. The 
real one is not well. No, I'm joking. <laughs> you know that that's a famous thing, isn't it? Like, should I tell you how I really feel, or do you want I just know. a quick answer? So I once said to my mum, "I'm fine," and she went, "Fine, fragile, insecure, oh my needy, god, and something else." I can't remember what E was. Excellent. And it must be something that her therapist said to her. No, <laughs> oh, your mum. Was, she was like, "Fine." Fragile, insecure, needy. <laughs> like, oh my god, I can't do anything. You sound like a, a GCSE drama project. <gasps> I'm fine. <laughs> you know, fragile. That is a hundred percent what it is. Like it would be on the wall in crepe paper, or is it sugar yeah. paper? Sugar paper. And they sugar paper when they have it on the wall display oh, for so parents' I'd, evening. I'd actually be eating my feelings then. <laughs> <Where it's> like, <laughs> I'm insecure. I swear my sister's special needs school had that with like different emotions up. I like, think that would be a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. you could sort of like point at which one you felt. Oh, yeah, and yeah. And then I she was like every day, angry! <laughs> 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 Hungry, angry! <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, Alison, yes. how are you? I'm good, I'm good. I just finished doing another podcast before I came here. I know, here. it's unbelievable that you've actually done this. I'm such a, I'm such a metropolitan girl. Mm-hmm. I hopped on mm-hmm. the tube, you know. Are you going to let them know that I booked you last Last night for this because uh, the previous guest did as well because it turns okay. out when Catherine's not here I book within 12 hours of recording no I love it I love okay, it good I mean like you've, you through you booking last minute it's got me quite a lot of money recently so <laughs> also, also you, you also book with the most apologetic tone <laughs> ever it's genuinely it's like you've asked me like is Alison please will you, will you take a smear test for me just just a smear test you know but you're but so it's good at doing podcast. them the smear test yeah and yeah. thank you for doing that again I really appreciate it. The tightest puss in the biz. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, sorry, just is this like a, a doping thing where you're getting Alison to take your smear tests in your place? Yeah, because you have to have them done, but it's not very comfortable for me sometimes. So you get Alison to. Sit to... Right. Well, it's only because my last smear test didn't go well. For, I mean, what happened in your last smear test? Oh, it was just really confusing because I went in to get yeah. anyone who uh, watched Gigless was like there for the week when this happened. Um, basically, I had a smear test, but when I was in there, the nurse was also like checking up on my vaccines. And it what? turns out I never had my MMR jab, like my baby jabs. Your mum. So- your mum. <laughs> Oh my god! My yeah. mum swears she did, but it's not my medical record. Yeah, your mum wants you to be thin and very ill. <laughs> <laughs> so I never had any jabs as a baby. It turns out. Oh, she's destroyed in rubella, but look at that! Look at that arse! She's what? so slim. <laughs> So then they did a swab on my grown-up woman vagina and then yeah. gave me a baby vaccine. And the whole thing was very confusing. So I was panicking, saying things like, oh, you must think I'm a half woman, half baby. And they were like, what? And I was like, it's the same doctors that I went to when I thought I had tit cancer, but turns out a spider had bit me on my tit. So they don't <laughs> respect me. And yes, I've yeah, yeah, now, yeah. so luckily I'm going to find a new doctor, I think, where I can start fresh. Where, where they respect your, your <laughs> spider-bitten tits. Well, I think they thought I was like some sort of mad anti-vaxxer. But I was like, look, I've had so many other jabs since yeah, then yeah, yeah 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 but like my mum swears down she took me as a baby and they the doctors just never wrote down that I it had must them. be because you're a similar age to me like, yeah, yeah i'm 30 i am no i am 89 so i'm 32 32 <laughs> yeah but, but like the mmr thing was like uh some guy had come out and got oh, it causes autism like that was the thing. Yeah, but my mum loves autism. Yeah, but my I'm... dad's autistic. Like, yeah, she, yeah. If anything, she fucking loves it. I've quite a lot of my family as well. Like, <laughs> yeah, like... yeah, we always find this out. We Every always are like... like we've had the same childhood. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <we> <laughs> How many times has your dad looked you in the eye? And done? Um, oh, uh, never. <laughs> <laughs> Michael did once, and then he panicked. It was amazing. <laughs> the last time, the, so the last podcast I did, we were, we got a voice note about uh, this woman had seen it, her dad's dick in a picture by accident, and I was trying to remember any time that I've seen my dad's dick. Have you? I probably have, but I can't remember it. But Which that means then, you were young. You don't want to... I don't think you particularly want to remember seeing your dad's dick. No, no, no. I'm no. super aware of the fact that Andrew's currently crawling on the floor to fix the camera. <laughs> <laughs> and also that we're talking about dad's dicks when I just spent the weekend hanging out with Andrew's dad. <laughs> Have you seen your dad's dick? Have you seen your dad's dick? Um, I'm, I'm going to go back behind the desk. Oh. I know I did because I walked into my dad in the bath. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. I probably definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. I don't. I don't remember Just it. But like a <laughs> like a boy. In the Just seat. an absolute hose. I was like, Papa, <laughs> why did you bring the golden hose to the bath? And he was like, Well, darling. <laughs> an absolute hose. That's why yeah, me and my siblings are so tall because the sperm was so long to get out. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> <actually how> <laughs> 
<laughs> that feels biologically correct, doesn't it? Like a, a really long all. spunk going through a really long hose. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Or yeah. dick, medical terminology. Dick, yeah. what, what? Te- what? What's the medical term so when for dick? When your dad like came uh, and your mum. Penis. When your dad came and your mum, it's like she was yeah. sucking up like spaghetti or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, here comes a big one. Like Lady in the Tramp. Just... <laughs> So like yeah, so he spunked out right. like, a really long, long sperm, one. Yeah, yeah. And then it went into my mum super long and then stretched out her birth canal because yes. the spunk was going so fast. Oh wow, yeah, yeah, yeah. It pushed it along. So then when I came out, I was super long. Yeah, like like play doh. Yeah. Like play doh. This is beautiful. And this that's is... how you end up tall. <laughs> <laughs> so if anyone wanting tall kids out there, make sure you get a man with long spunk. <laughs> Check out Michael Bauer. <laughs> I don't know why. Now I'm thinking about my dad's spunk. Wait, I should stop. Okay, treat. It's like the opposite to meditation. This is. So what, like, what do you think of the... to stop thinking about your dad's spunk? Uh, think about your dad doing it's still... a puzzle. Oh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, your dad's your dad's been in a smelting accident, right? What's a smelting accident? I actually don't know. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking something. It feels like, like melted metal. Yeah, I think. Yeah, let's say. So your dad's genitals covered in melted metal. Why? He's, why still with his genitals? Quite, because this because it's gone and okay. there's no spunk to be. You know, it's just. Nothing. Oh my god, he's lost his dick. He has lost his dick. Yes. Oh, I kind of want the idea of another sibling at some point. I kind of want my dad to be a super old old dad for oh, someone. Oh, well, you mean like last chance to lose? You just puff it out like some talcum powder. <laughs> Into some young, <laughs> but a really long puff of talcum powder. <laughs> the longest, yeah. <laughs> like a, like a decrepit train just like falling apart on a okay, plane up there. Okay, I'm to picture this now. Okay, my dad does like the TV show Chernobyl. Okay, and so do I. You know, yeah, it's brilliant. Yeah, I bought him the DVDs for oh, Christmas nice. a couple of years <laughs> ago because he watches things like on repeat. Yes, so yeah, he's yeah, watched yeah, yeah. the Bourne trilogy. I'd say about. Eight times a year nice. since they came out. Nice. Very autistic. A lot of things on repeat. I'm not going to say. <laughs> like that and Lord of the Rings on repeat every Friday. And then he's... Uh, yeah. So he's watching Chernobyl. And Chernobyl, I swear, there is what I would describe in my head as a smelting accident. Right. Where then skin melts off, which is skin melting, smelting. Oh, shit. That's, that's not what that is. Um, have, we, have you looked it up? Uh, no, are you are right? It's uh, metal melting. Oh, okay. nice, nice, nice. Hey, just be clear. So I was right because I said metal melting first. Okay. I said smelting first, and then I had the. You panicked. No, no, no. I had the, <laughs> I had the, the, I had the 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 braveness to go. I don't know quite know what it is. But I admired but I did you think for that. it. Thank you. I Wait, mean, more politicians should do that. Would smelting then be Joffrey in Game of Thrones having the crown, not Joffrey? Who am I thinking of? Who are you thinking of? I, I I've never seen Game of Thrones. Oh, right. Daenerys' brother gets a golden crown, but it's hot, wet metal hot, liquid. Wet. Hot, wet metal liquid poured That's on his smelted. head. That's been smelted. Mm-hmm. And, uh, right. Thank you. Oh my god! I am Who so on board with smelting now. Oh my god! So, I feel like such a, 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 a Susie Dent like dictionary corner, but with, <laughs> but with a really low bar. <laughs> <laughs> Can we just say things we don't know to you, and then you have to like Google them? Yeah. Okay. okay. What is Kate Middleton's middle name? Oh, oh I. Ooh. Let's have a look. I don't know why that's my <laughs> first question. That I is quite. Is it like middle? I, like, I know it's gonna be basic. Can I guess? Go on, have a go guess. On. I'm going to say Jane or Carol, because her mum's called Carol. Hang on, I'm sorry, my phone's in Spanish. I've got to Carol, Carol, your Carol. Phone, who calls your phone well, Spanish? I, I, Carolina. I started fooling with a Spanish guy. Yeah. And I, oh. I can speak Spanish. I was like, oh, so I've practiced, so I put my phone in Spanish. Oh. But I've changed all my apps to Spanish as well, uh, and I do not enough know enough fetish words to understand what's happening on Grindr. <laughs> <laughs> It's really, really confusing. Andrew just saying C and then he arrives there and they've got a hoover and a backpack and he's like, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> or me or steals. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> is that not motherfucker? Is that, is that motherfucker? Uh, what? Me or steals? No, 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 no. What's I papi mean? I papi. I've mean... heard it in songs. Yes, dad? Yeah, yes. Oh, papi. yes, dad. Well, I think well, not, it's... I, it's not, no, I isn't yes, but that's kind of the equivalent. Ah, like yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. I is yes uh. in Scottish. Uh, yeah, anyway. Um, uh, yes. 
Uh, what what, what winner name are you guessing for? Okay, Kate I'm Winston? gonna go Carol. Frank. <laughs> Frank. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's go out um, there. Uh, Elizabeth. I knew oh, it was going to be Royal. Carthag. Carthag was regal. Yeah, Ca- was Carol was stars. fucking gagging for it. Yeah, Carol knew. I don't knew. think anyone has wanted anything more. As soon as Kate slipped out of her, she's like, into a ground. What a coincidence. The perfect timing to marry a prince. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so freaking creepy. You know that they both went on their gap years at the same time and they both did the same charity program in Peru right. but Kate was just on the program the week after him so she just missed him oh. and it was like what a crazy coincidence like it's no coincidence there yeah. Carol was doing calls around <laughs> figuring out what Prince William was putting his gap year and then got Kate on the same program oh man you'd be so pissed if you had to like didn't pick what you were volunteering for oh, on the off chance that you're, the love of your life was there you, you, you'd be a lot less enthusiastic wouldn't you I so so true. Like, oh, but God, what would you want to volunteer again. for? What would I like to volunteer for? Yeah. Like on my gap year. And it's Let's something say, I really want to do. By the way, I just want to let the listener know that I've actually stopped thinking about my dad's spunk, which I think good. is a really good thing I for think me. It's, well I think done. that's, uh, yeah, yeah, that's, uh, that's growth. Thank I you. Yeah. <laughs> Someone tell me how long that timestamp was. <laughs> 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 it's too long. So let's say, did you have yeah. a gap year? Uh, no, I didn't have a gap year. I went to a college that had a Tesco in the front of it. So there was no gap year. There was no student union. Uh, there was, what was there? There was soup in a cup. That was great. I had a... Uh, juice. Just add hot water and stuff? No, they're like, there was this little cubby hole where there was this woman that lived. She didn't live there, sorry. She <laughs> she worked there. And she would give you like um, soup with a slice of bread for one euro fifty. Stop. So like I was poor at the time. So I would have my, I had a tomato soup in a big cup with a <gasps> bit of bread. It was so good. And is this college university it's a college of higher education so btech level six is the oh god i did i did one a level and i dropped out what's btech level six i don't is that the grade level six i don't know it's like (laughs) it's something they told me on the open day that (laughs) btech level i got a higher diploma in radio Special like media specialising in radio. Oh, oh, so do we, should I Google this? Because yeah, do you I, think, I forgot that's diploma. my role is to just Google. I just want to know at what age was Alison spending one euro fifty on a cup of soup? Nineteen. If it's nineteen, I was nineteen. Yeah, so yeah, that's, yeah. that's university. Oh, oh yeah, the university. Equivalent of an undergraduate degree. <gasps> now, so I Congratulations! Got, but I got out at a higher diploma, so I was like BTEC level five. I'm super proud of you. Oh, thank you. I'm so thank proud. You. I used to get a lift with uh, my stepdad in his lorry into uh, Dublin in the mornings when I, when uh, when there was a housing crisis. And uh, so I'd get up at like five in the morning. Oh, babe. Being a, I felt like a blurry driver though. It was so good. Yeah. Yeah, you listen to the fishing forecast. Do you like play the role when you're doing those things? Like when I have a job where I've got to get up really early for, I play the role of someone who always has to get up really early. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and I'm in like, my head, I'm like, oh, another day on the grind. And, uh, yeah, and my language <laughs> changes. I'm, oh, you know, convoy and all, you know. <laughs> HGV. Yeah, you become really interested in petrol station food. You're like, oh, what's the variety today? You know? I did a job for about, must have been about a year where I had to get up at 5 a.m. No, I had to be at work at 5 every single morning. What was it? So I left Hotel Buffet. <laughs> yeah, my job was hotel buffet. Oh my god! No, I was an associate at the Marriott Courtyard, right. which is the business Marriott in Berlin. Oh! And it was right by. Do you know Kochstrasse, which is, <laughs> <laughs> but like Koch no, as in like Olga Koch. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, and then basically it's where Checkpoint Charlie is, which is wow. one of the most famous checkpoints for the Berlin Wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, but it would just be me at four forty-five in the morning getting off the like um, underground station. Yeah. And coming up, and it was just me with the big pictures of these soldiers, and then like remnants of sort of like tourists who had been there the night before, and like yeah. crazy information crossing the wall to go to work, and then like a rat going across the street. Oh, you feel like and you then own I'd go and street. put out sausage. <laughs> Like, what is a German breakfast buffet like? You know what? It was There's different in different countries. I've been to Denmark, like the one time. What I've was been that to like? Incredible. They had a vat full of bacon, and it was like crispy, crispy, smoky. Um, uh, not back bacon, streaky bacon. Stop. It was incredible. It's the kind of bacon you. Know, for me, I mean, I could talk about. I could talk about uh, breakfast buffets till the cows come. I honestly feel like we found our theme. Let's do it. <laughs> and <laughs> let's get in. So like, I thought I was going to be talking about trauma, but I am happy to do the breakfast. Trauma? <laughs> yeah. You want to open up to me? 
What well, bit trauma bonding? Oh my god! I'm <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> tell me, tell me about the Danish because I've never been to Denmark. So, uh, so it was like a really, really big vat of bacon, incredible bacon. Individually, I, I find that I'm not demeaning your work, like, uh, but I find at breakfast buffets sometimes you pick up a bit of bacon and four kind of follow it, and you're like, no, I, I would have had four anyway, but not attached. I yeah. felt no, wrong. I understand, I understand. So, an incredible piece of bacon. They had Nutella. Quite. Oh, this is about six years ago. So for me, individual yeah. packets of Nutella were quite the thing. Uh, okay. Pancake maker yeah, and waffle waffle iron. Okay, we had a waffle iron, but only on Sundays at this hotel buffet. Oh, on Sundays? Only on Sundays. I bet that was a feckin' <gasps> clean out. It's a fuck to clean out. It's yeah. also people, you'd say this is the amount of waffle mix you want to put in the waffle machine. Yeah, they, they'd think you're lying. <laughs> consistently be like, it needs more, but then it wouldn't work. Right, right. Um, I, well, let's go back to the beginning of buffets because yes. I've got quite a history with hotel buffets. Oh, I now, hear about I don't know which episode it was. This is like an episode it, of it's Michael. It's been almost all of them. Has it? <laughs> <laughs> no. It's like Michael Portillo on trains. I but Helen on Bauer of breakfast buffets would be amazing. I went on holiday to Lanzarote. Yes. I came back and I discussed in detail what I did at a hotel buffet there. And yeah. I've had a lot of people come up to me and praise me for this. Okay. So basically, I'll just quickly say it again for anyone who hasn't listened to it. Basically, I went to Lanzarote, stayed at a hotel, but all inclusive for breakfast, but yes. nothing else. Yes. So the first night I get to Lanzarote, I order a Chinese takeaway to the hotel, yes. insisting that they get proper <gasps> so Tupperware. Because I'm you're not so a fucking clever. moron. I see where you're going. I get the Tupperware, I, see... I clean it in the bathtub, I take it down to breakfast every single day with yes. me. In the bathtub? Sorry, yeah. that was skipped over. Would you not like the bathtub? What would you like? Oh, I'm going to clean it in the pool. No, the sink. The sink. <laughs> clean, clean my chow mein off in the pool. What? How big is this Tupperware? Why are you using the bathtub? about eight boxes. It was a big Chinese takeaway. She's like, <laughs> and you just throw them all in the bath. You're like stirring them around. <laughs> First night in Lanzarote, let's get a paella. Absolutely not. <laughs> Do you like sticky ribs? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But uh, I I totally get you because like because a buffet first and foremost it's a wonderful thing but it is for stretching it as far as it can go. Of course, of course, it wouldn't be a buffet. If it now wasn't. I have only started doing this since having worked on hotel buffets in my early twenties because they will give you bags if you ask. We will give it to you. I did not know this. At the Marriott and any other equipment hotel like that, we say yes to everything. Oh my god! So if you want a bag, we have them behind the counter, oh and my we god. will help you facilitate taking things away with you. Oh my god! If only I knew. I just—it doesn't affect us at all. I feel like I would be offending you. No, I know, and people used to feel that way. Always ask. Right. I think if the bacon isn't what you were hoping, and it all comes out together, yeah. you can also ask. No. But I'm also aware that it's like consumerism, so you don't want to be that person to ask. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I will say is about the little sachets of Nutella. Yes. I'd rather the big pot. Would with you? With a couple of ramekins next to it right. that I can fill up as much as I want. Well, you mean like, okay, I mean, what position are you talking about this? Are you talking about you would rather the Nutella uh, in a big pot with a couple of ramekins as a customer or as a person that's working in the breakfast buffet? I'd say both. I'd say both. I, I Ideally, at a breakfast buffet, I'd arrive at the table and it would have a full bottle of ketchup on it, a full bottle of mayo, yeah. full bottle mayo, of brown sauce. Mayo, yeah. mayo. For the You've potatoes. probably had this conversation before, <laughs> haven't you? No, for I've, breakfast potatoes. No, that's wrong. You mix mayo and ketchup together. That's that's like that's like a prawn cocktail sauce. I Why? honestly, shut up. You were. I listen to you and your truth. <laughs> You, I don't know. This is like because in college there was this girl I lived with who was obsessed with pink sauce. She sounds great. <laughs> she sounds fun. She's have a pizza. She's have yeah, a pizza. Me too. Okay. I love burger sauce. That's the ultimate one. It's got what? ketchup, mayo, and a bit of mustard. Whoa! What about the ones that like, you know the difference between that and Big Mac sauce is like uh, sugar. Gherkin, 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 Brian, and a bit of gherks. Oh, I love gherkins. gherkins. I love gherkins. Anyway, back to this. Okay. I'm trying to give Catherine but energy. I would, I would rather have the condiments on the table. Yeah. I don't want people to see my access towards the Nutella. So I don't want to end up with loads of little pots of it or little oh, individual ones. You don't want people to see what you've done. Whereas I can load yeah. up a big one. Yeah. I wouldn't trust, I just wouldn't trust people with Nutella though as a, like a big pot of Nutella. Yeah. Someone, someone's going to do something to that. Someone's going to. I'm thinking about the Germans. Yeah. And they didn't. I know you can trust the Germans, but like... Can you? Thank you so much for saying that. <laughs> I used to live in Germany. I know, but like... <laughs> yes. <laughs> even more so, can you trust the Germans? I felt like they were very trustworthy people. <laughs> they were like... Oh. 
I, look, we're all over the war. It's not. It's not. That. What war? When? <laughs> oh no! Oh goodness! My dad. My dad used to because my dad was a builder and he used to sing to to to. Was it? Two World Wars and a World Cup. Oh, that one, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And uh, he, he, he once he did that on the street while he was drunk in Germany, and uh, someone beat him up. And my mum was like, and I was like a six year old. <laughs> I was like, Dad, and I can hear mum go, "Now serves you right, you English bastard." Like, <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> Why did they not stay together? I don't know. Weird. Did they get divorced pretty soon after that. They got, no, it took another ten years. Oh, babe. it took oh, another ten years. A bit like I wish they just called it early. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, look, it's like it's like Northern Ireland. Do you know what I mean? It could have sorted this out in the seventies, but we did it in the nineties. Have we not done that yet? Uh, well, you're going with, like you know Brexit and all We're that. We're still too. helping out though, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, good, yeah, yeah, good, yeah, good. Yeah. You've got all your counties you wanted. <laughs> I know it's something like they want. Is it seven? Six. 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 You, do you know what? You 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 play ignorance, but yet you know I'm so a genius. much. Yeah, you want yeah, six yeah. counties back? Yeah, we do yeah. preferably. I don't give a shit. Have them. I think so. I don't know whether it's my authority. Well, should you we do should... like one a year, like a secret Santa or something? What do you think that they won't they won't notice the difference? Like when you're trying to take your parents' alcohol and you take a little bit and replace it with water. Yeah. And a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Well, we just take that. one a year. What's for... the difference? You're going to use euro instead of pounds? We'll take for mana first. We'll see if they notice. And then what? that's the county. You can have it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, do you want do you want for Manor or are you alright to share? Uh, I'm alright to share, yeah, that's fine. So the buffet, you would you would <laughs> you would take <laughs> No, we've already done it, we've already ruined the cafe vibe. <laughs> okay. So, so you would take what would you how many you you've had your chow mein, you've we've washed it at this yeah. stage. We and now uh you've probably talked in detail about I have this. I right, have but okay. I'd say let me say my favourite buffet, I think. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Malaysia. I, what? You went to Malaysia? Several times. <laughs> Several times, guys. And I did stay at a very fancy hotel. Yeah. And this was like, oh my God. But half a family are Malaysian, so we usually stay out there. Right. But there was loads of people over, so we were in a hotel. And like one of our uncles or something booked my like immediate family into this hotel, which was insane. Yeah. And the buffet basically had like, a different area for like all around the world to cater for like, cause it was like a big international hotel. Oh my God. Like an intercontinental or something. Oh my so God. There's like a Japanese section, a traditional Malaysian section, an Indian section, no. a European section, an American section. Cause who doesn't want a breakfast burger? That's incredible. That's Insane. incredible. Insane. Like omelet stations. Oh you yeah. You can have miso, you can have sushi. Oh. It was fucking, cause I once did a buffet in America called the Golden Corral. And it was life changing. Um, t- I, I, it's life changing listening to it. Like, what are we talking about? Why, why are the big difference? About why three times in a row for like three meals. This is incredible. And it was like, so you know, there's like round the world buffets. In like Cosmos. Yeah, 100%. yeah, yeah. I've been. Oh I know God. your culture. Have I told this before about my severely overweight relatives who went to a buffet once? No. No. So <laughs> it was this is awful as a joke I used to do when I was younger for my family and everyone we used to laugh. This is back to the <laughs> fat shaming of dad. <laughs> This was something I would kill in my, like, the Bowers group. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that we got two relatives who were, like, documentary fat. Like, yeah. they don't walk. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. They could, but they don't. Fuck, <laughs> yeah, good for them. <laughs> they they once ate so many cream eggs, I got a bag because they ate so many. That's incredible. It was incredible. Um, they, so we used to have jokes about them going to a buffet and then everyone seeing them walking in. Yeah. And then I would parody it and play it out like it was Titanic, you know, when the water's ju- gushing into the engine room. <laughs> Everyone's running out trying to get under the doors as they're closing. <laughs> so they'd be walking to the buffet. <laughs> we got a 219! <laughs> People screaming at the back. And I threw this whole play out. I'm like, fry everything! That's not enough! <laughs> but you know, as a fat person in a buffet, it's like... <laughs> I do take a lot, but I don't go up on many trips. There is a do part of me. There's a part of me that's like, I'm not arsed. So I'll just oh, say, you know. No, I go up. I go up a lot. Okay. Okay. I fear the full plate and extra charge at the end. Did that, does that is that a myth? I think that's a it's myth. It's not a myth. You've seen that in I've re- seen you've it. seen it play I've out. I've seen it happen. No. Chinese takeaway in Farnborough. 
What? 100%. Who paid it? Who paid it? Was it your mum? Was it, I can't eat another thing? She wouldn't take me to a buffet. (laughs) (laughs) She wouldn't fucking take me to a buffet. By the way, Helen's mum, if I ever meet you, it's like, I'm very nice, (laughs) Senna, buddy. I don't think she's listening. If you are listening, mother, you know I love you. We just can't discuss food and we've been over this many times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, we always somehow do. (laughs) (laughs) Cue emotional phone call from her tomorrow being like, darling, it's only because I want you to live a long time. Isn't it? My mum, like, it's so... I have this with other uh, comedian women as well, yeah. where they'll talk about uh, their mum ringing them up and going, did I affect you that much? Like, is this a, uh, you know? Yeah. And you're like, well, it is my truth, mum. <laughs> it's so tricky because I remember asking my mum quite early on in stand up, like yeah. before it was even like a really a career being like, can I chat about stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And she was like, yeah. Carte Blanche, baby. (laughs) (laughs) And in general, she loves it. But I imagine every now and again, she'll probably be a bit like, what the fuck? My mum takes it far better than my dad. Like my really? mom, because I did stand up and it was mostly about my mom all the time. Uh-huh. Irish mom, uh, but my dad, I have a t, I had a TV series in Ireland. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the 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 mom character is basically my mom. It's definitely based on her. Yeah. Uh, because my mom used to like, because I tried to kill myself when I was younger. Oh, I'm bringing it down to the. Well. We've all given it a go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. That we're all like, oh, we've tried, but you didn't, didn't go no, through with no, was couldn't it, figure it out either. Wasn't for me. Turns out it's actually really hard to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. My, <laughs> 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 my friend, <laughs> my friend, that was actually a real Catherine energy there. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to kill myself. (laughs) (laughs) What did I say? Uh, (laughs) My friend Maurice says about self harm. She's like, it's all well and good, but actually doing it, it's quite sore. And you're like, yeah, you're right. You know, (laughs) the idea of it is great. I know, I know. um, But she would always like check in on me and like. I remember once I was about fifteen. I was like reading a book in my room, and my mum just popped the door open really quick and like, oh, thank God. Okay, okay, you haven't killed yourself. All right, right. right." I closed it there, so like, so like, I based a lot on her and the character in uh, the sitcom. There was no, da- there was no dad in it. Yeah. And then there was, I did some sort of joke in the show that a mum, that because actually this is Catherine Energy. Me and Catherine have a very similar bit about our mums because no. we both have Irish yeah, yeah, mums. Yeah. And it was fine because I was living in Ireland and stuff. And like, I like, we, I think we've both thrown away a bit. <laughs> but it was about like um, uh, that my mum would ring me and go like, you never guess who dies. Oh, the um, yeah. The the website Catherine talked yeah, about. She yeah, yeah, get, yeah, yeah. I remember this bit. Yeah. yeah. That was years ago. Years yeah. ago. So like she, so my mum would go like, you never guess who died. And in the show, I was like, uh, oh, it's not dad, is it? And she was like, why would I say it like that? You know? And then my dad was like, and then my real dad was like, I was really hurt you said that in the TV show. And he was trying to also... I had little DVDs made for him of the TV show. That's it took nice. him two years to watch it. I kept asking him to watch it. Yeah. And he was like, yeah, I haven't got around to it yet. I think now looking back, he was probably like nervous or something like that. And then he did, eventually he did watch it. And I was like, dad, what do you think of it? And he goes, well, uh, oh, uh, and I said, it's not really aimed at me, is it? It's not really aimed at my, you know, and I was like. My dad does yeah. that one as well. But it isn't, it, it isn't is, actually. But no, actually everything I do is aimed at my dad. Oh. Like this podcast. Everything is a communication with my dad. <laughs> Look what you've done. But <laughs> is it a case of like your mum will actively watch and seek out things you're doing? Yes. Yeah, so yeah, I've yeah, got yeah, the same yeah, thing. Yeah. My mum watches and listens and actually yeah. seeks it out. My dad doesn't. Yeah. So she is more aware of like what I'm saying. But the thing is... My mum used to like protect me on Twitter and stuff. Like where people no. would be like... Uh, if I went on TV and be like, oh, she's glorified no. obesity. No. And uh, my mum would be like... Fuck you! And then she would tweet at the television channel, and go, "This Alison Spittle one is really quite good. I'd get her on other stuff, you know." And it's like Jennifer Spittle. <laughs> how many, how many Spittles are there? You oh know? my god! <laughs> and it's all love. Yeah, my mum is, is the same. She's so desperately, desperately. She's so supportive. Yes, my mum is. But too. then every now and again, I'll say something or I'll have a topic, and she'll be like, "Was it really that miserable for you?" No. And it's like, "Oh no, no, it's not. It's just so I'm doing this like new bit about." 
how um, when I was younger, our family holidays revolved around museums and historical sites of interest. Yeah. Instead of like Disney and the beach. Yeah. And then I sort of vaguely joke about how like, but uh, it's fine. So I take myself to Disneyland now. I give myself the childhood I wanted. <laughs> but it wasn't traumatizing. So, so did Michael Jackson and that got him in trouble. <laughs> uh, you know what, sorry. I put on <laughs> leaving Neverland last night to fall asleep to. To fall asleep to. <laughs> So Even when I was sleep. doing it, I was thinking, don't say this on the podcast tonight. <laughs> <laughs> and I yet was, here we are. I was trolling Netflix. To I had it to oh, a bit of ASMR. Just <laughs> I popped up and I was like, perfect. <laughs> That'll work out nicely. This is a real yeah. yawn fest. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> My name's Wade Jones. Oh. Hello, and I'm the mother of Wade. Oh. And the worst thing is I could hear some Neil in the background next door watching yeah. like a Kanye West documentary. Like, not... You know what? We need to bring on our guest. Yes. I feel yeah. like we started 20 conversations and we finished... Did. Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew, would you say that we crushed it? Absolutely crushed it. Hey. Um, should we make a hog noise and introduce Poppy Hillstead? Oh, absolutely, wait there. I want to hear yours. Okay, I'll do it. Right. Oh, can I just, uh, just last time you did this, um, on episode one. Yes. Episode yes. one. One of our first ever um, pig squealers. Yes. It was so loud, I had to turn it down 30 volume points wow. on, on my editing software. Do you want me to do that loud, as loud as before, or do you want me to keep it at a... I can do like I'm a honestly impressed. I, I think either maybe yeah, either go for to beat the record or rein okay. it in. Your choice. Okay. Wait, should I go first? Yeah, you you do first. Set okay. the bar. Wait, okay. um, what's your emotion for your pig? Oh, what am I? Uh, okay, so last time you you'd witnessed your mother being your mother Shut. pig being yeah. killed. Yeah. Yeah, you okay. went trauma. Maybe I've smelled sausages and know what it is. All right. Oh, oh, oh my God! So you smell. So you're like good Someone smell, but wait a second. Sausages. I'm like. That's a good one. Okay, and okay. I have. The spirit of the pigs have gone into. Just my finished watching Shrek for the oh, first time wonderful. as a pig, but I've also in that moment found out there's actually sequels. Okay. So I'm like Shrek's finished. It was amazing, but <gasps> thank God there's more. Okay. 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 <clears throat> Sorry, one second. <laughs> the tip of the tongue, the teeth, and the lips. Ooh. Are we are we sponsored by Starbucks? <laughs> I feel like <laughs> <laughs> fuck you. No. Alison, I'm really trying to get into roll. Okay, okay. okay, just like okay. <clears throat> Thank you. <laughs> that felt good. That was good. Did one. you feel I my eyes? That. I didn't blink. I the did. Whole I was looking that. into them. I was going. It was a lot. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, okay. Shrek Two is great, mate. Shrek Two is great. <laughs> Catherine's gonna fucking hate this. <laughs> Why did she hate Shrek? <laughs> no, no, just the okay. Pink <laughs> I was like, Jesus. Actually, she's never been that incited about Shrek. Whenever I bring it up, which is usually about twice a week. Yeah, do you have you Shrek been to the Shrek, Shrek experience? Yeah, that one. Yeah. I don't talk about it. Okay. Not properly yet. Okay. Just walked past it a million times. Me too. It's quite expensive. Doesn't matter. Okay. You can't put a price on fun. That's true. Okay, right there. So I'm I'm in pig mode now. Okay. Oh my god! Pass her a Ventolin! Pass her a Ventolin! That was incredible! That felt like a brown and blue inhaler situation. Do they do BAFTAs for podcasts? I think they should. I need it. I that was amazing. Pick of the year, BAFTAs. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Let's welcome our guest. It's the wonderful Poppy, Poppy Hilton! Oh, hi, Hogs. It's Helen from literally the night before you're hearing this because I've been nominated for an award, which is very excited. It's called, like, Best Breakthrough, like Breakout, something to do with Kelly Clarkson on Chortle Comedy Awards. But you have to vote for me. Oh, my God, this guy's going so fast. Oh, my God. Oh, I hope he doesn't hit a hedgehog. Anyway, oh, my God, hedgehog, Hogs. Please vote for me. It's on Chortle 
www.dreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdreamsofdream
like that. What? This genuinely like, like oh. I'm into some light spanking and then I come into someone's house <laughs> and there's like nipple claps and stuff. And I'm like, oh, actually, yeah, actually. <laughs> it's a bit too real. <laughs> oh, oh. This feels like a bad time, but uh, yes. do you want to introduce Poppy? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <No. laughs> I'm doing bad Catherine in that. <laughs> okay. Catherine would never gag like that on <laughs> <laughs> she wouldn't wish she yeah, yeah. <laughs> Now I'm thinking about things that make me gag and it's going to make me gag. Okay, okay. So, let's all just... Right, can, I, can we all... Sorry, can we just calm down? Can we just... Can we just... Be... Sorry, can we go... Can we also just make it clear? No spot shaming. No. Like, at the no, end of the no, day, no. what was happening in my ear last summer in Devon was a very specific cacophony of shit. It was like... It was pulsating, though. It was... It was I, I'm not shaming. I didn't okay. expect it to be out of the ear because it was already a little bit out. Yeah, And then yeah. it was just... I didn't expect it to erupt that quickly. I didn't even... Wow. She, she was squeezing. It was. She was in there. Yeah. yeah. Um. I'll see if I can find the video when this comes out, and I'll yeah, put it on my pa- Instagram. The no, day pop it gets on released. the Patreon. Pop it on the Patreon. <laughs> if you yeah, really want to see it, if you really want to see it, it was um. Welcome, Poppy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome, Poppy. Yeah. Yeah. This is perfect. Like, I love it. I kind of want to see it again. I know that's... But... I'm happy to send it to you. Yeah. You can show it yeah. again. Honestly, show it again this it time. To... No, I'm not going to. You're at risk now, my love. No, 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 no. I is it... at risk. Will sick ever come out with the gagging? Or it's just pure gag? I mean, like, it's it's happened before. Has <laughs> like, it? So what, mm. what originally... What written that... Originally happened. <laughs> yeah, my origin story <laughs> of, my, of my empathetic gag grief. Mm-hmm. I'm an empath. Uh, that... Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I remember watching a Tarrant on TV years oh, yeah. ago. Do you remember yeah. that TV show? It was on Wait, my TV. Tarrant on TV? Yeah, 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 yeah. Tarrant on Chris TV. Tarrant on TV. I'm going to have to close yeah. my eyes while I tell you this. It's just to <laughs> control oh, myself and ground myself, right? Okay. But I was watching it. I was a teenager and... Um, you know, there was loads of stuff like there's like they go, oh, it's mad what they do in Europe, and then you see like a flailing dick doing a helicopter or something. Oh, meat spin, yeah, yeah. that kind of meat spin, yeah. Uh, but meat they were like, com, yeah. were like, look, look at what these people do on German TV. Ain't they mad, right? And it was like a German guy, like, hello. He was good, and uh, he was like, it was like one of these like Vox pops, people out in the street, and he goes, uh, uh, he goes. Uh, <laughs> I'm so, t- I'm so fucking excited right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> this is because of Taryn on TV. Yeah. Chris Taryn has scared me. <laughs> okay, so like, yeah. So the guy, the German guy, is like, oh, to the people in the street. And he goes like, ah. Oh. Oh, would you would you drink this milk? And they're like, yeah, I'd drink this milk for like twenty Deutschmarks or something. And they're like, yeah, I'll drink this milk. And he goes, and then he, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, what is it? Oh, like <laughs> and the, the milk was the milk was like two months. <laughs> Sorry, two months half dead. <laughs> yeah, two months half dead. So I should have. <laughs> so yeah, he got. <laughs> Okay. 
If anyone sweating. not watching on YouTube, I'm on the floor. <laughs> and I've got my legs at an angle so I can't. <laughs> so I'm going to slowly stand up. And I yeah. just stop talking. Okay. <laughs> okay, you know what? A bit came out, but it's, it's black jeans. It's black jeans. The people at Guildford are going to get a very stale smell from me. <laughs> Okay, sorry, so they ate the uh, they ate it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. They ate it, yes. And so in college oh, was just chatting about like, you know, what has affected you most as a child and I was like, I got this one. Told them that kind of did the same thing as what I did now, but blam it. Yeah. And uh, I actually like followed through. And this is like <laughs> I followed through. So <laughs> And then any time we had a house party or anything like that at the house, because these were my flatmates, they would then go, oh, we've got a party for you. Addison has to come over. And then they would oh, it describe up. it to me in my new detail. And they would talk about the texture. And so I'm sorry. And, um, <laughs> and I would vomit onto myself. <laughs> they would follow me and talk about it. <laughs> and yeah. see trick. And yeah. friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, it didn't end well, their friendship is over My trick is making my friend vomit on <laughs> yeah. So that's what would happen. And uh, that's, that's, that really, I'm so sorry. I feel like... Can we all uh, just like, can we just take a fucking minute? Yeah, yeah. Oh. What did I say to you earlier? Bring a Catherine Bogart energy. <laughs> what did I say? Look at me. I know. Bring I know. a Catherine Bogart energy. <laughs> she would never gag in public. <laughs> Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I put on nice makeup. My clips were. My clips were. <laughs> Make, yeah. So do any makeup. I know. I know. Um, oh. So, 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 Poppy, what are you up to this week? <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm drinking hot chocolate with milk in it right now. Oh, no. Nice. And I'm scared. Uh, I'm scared yeah. something might happen. I think this has passed this on to me. I think, like, any time I'm doing the washing up and if I see, like, oh, uh, like a glob of milk, yeah. it makes me... It makes me like, I understand that milk's a trigger for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah I think yeah, we spoke yeah. about this a couple of weeks ago, but do you know watch... Neil O'Rourke? Yeah, yeah, lovely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lovely, lovely Neil O'Rourke. He drinks glasses of milk oh, like I in cafes and stuff, yeah. and I just think it's like, grow up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're a wonderful comedian, you're a lovely man, but at the end of the day, stop. <laughs> Just stop. Like, it's just wrong. Oh, my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. When you say down yourself, like, sick down, would you just kind of just <laughs> sit and Cause, just go... Be- because, <laughs> I'm, like I'm kind, because I'm kind of like, you know, when you go through trauma, you, you freeze. <laughs> I would just be like, no, please, please, no. Oh, God. <laughs> they would talk about the mouthfeel. It would just be... I'm, I'm, I'm over it now. Feel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I, do you know, once, once that's gone, I feel like I could talk... It, it's mad, because I talk about really disgusting stuff yeah mm. no but, but yeah. like uh but like t- t- uh, gone off milk is just my that's your kryptonite yeah. i feel yeah i'm i'll say this and then we'll leave it okay okay i think what might have happened is that what was happening inside my ear mm. triggered a solid milk i'm done so i'm using it as carefully as i can affecting you mm. which then took you down a bad road it did yes yeah, we'll leave uh, this now. Consider me triggered. <laughs> <laughs> no, but also triggered. freezing. Freezing isn't the worst trait to have in a trauma situation. Yeah, I'm really into end of the world stuff. Okay, yeah, into yeah, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I'm really yeah. worried about the end of the world that I'll lose my glasses. Like, is that your main stress? Mine is Genuine. rationing. Ration. Oh, well, I'm, I'm not fucking rationing. <laughs> I'll kill myself. I'll kill myself before I'm told how many I'm allowed for a meal. I've got tinned food. Like I, when when the pandemic happened, mm. I bought quite a lot of tinned fish. Because I yeah. felt like we needed protein. That was long life protein. <laughs> and I started growing stuff on my balcony. Oh, that's nice. I kind of thought the world was going to yeah, end. Because the <laughs> food that you'll grow in central London <laughs> will like, 100% give you the nutrients you need. <laughs> I am um, so I'm really into end of the world stuff. Yeah. I used to be really into the films growing up. Day sure. after tomorrow, Independence Day. Yeah, 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 yeah. I then got so into it that I started reading non-fiction oh, yes. about end of the world. There's an amazing book. I think it's called The Unthinkable by oh. Amanda something. My friend bought it for me. Mm-hmm. Incredible. And it's about how everyone so everyone in them naturally has a reflex to any sort of disaster or yeah. massive event. And you can either freeze or you can run. The main one is quite gendered the book. 
um, just in general, just so like if anyone listened to it. It's very gendered as far as like men and women's general responses. Right. And in general, <laughs> this is so awful. Women, we don't survive these situations as much as men, it, like from everything from like man-made disasters to tsunamis and earthquakes, because we spend on average five to 16 minutes gathering things before we go. <laughs> oh. So wow. and this includes no. people yeah. as well as things. Yeah. Oh, oh women are just so, they take so long to get ready. You're at the bottom and it's there. Come on, love, does it? Thinking, you know, this can't be true. And they did a case study on 9-11. Yeah. And um, oh, they found, so like there was a lot of people who didn't leave immediately because they were getting stuff because it's a yeah. trauma response. This isn't like an active decision of like, I should take things with me. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah so they yeah, were grabbing yeah. things and it doesn't usually make sense. And they had loads of um, women, particularly walking out of the towers before they collapsed, holding like a hole punch or oh, something, yeah. looking really confused by it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, really? Just They're just like, kind of like, grabbing yeah, stuff. Yeah, just grabbing to... stuff. But it also is the human instinct. They grab people as well. Lovely. So they often start trying to help That's people. Good, whereas yeah. men in general fucking <laughs> flee. <laughs> wow. And they just go, but if you, fr- every, every single reaction to an awful event can line up with the right one and be the perfect response. Okay. So freezing is actually the perfect response in a human stampede or a Ooh. sort of like mass crushing incident. Oh, right. Because the freezing holds you in place. Yes. Mm. Instead, you're not going to fall, you're not trying to like jostle, you just stay still. Oh, like a bollard. But if you were in a tsunami, you'd be fucked. Oh, <laughs> man. You're just standing there gagging, thinking about <laughs> milk. While a tsunami of like yeah. uh, gone off milk has come <laughs> forward. <laughs> Oh God! Uh, I'm, I'm holding so on. into it. How awful is that, though? That we don't live because we're we should be fucking gathering our self respect on that 16 yeah, minutes. Yeah, well, yeah. Let, let, this is our feminist part of the podcast. We're like women. You need to lean into surviving. <laughs> yeah. You know? Well, I think it's just we need to stop gathering. But I kind of get it because I do gather as it's, well. It's yeah. faffing about, isn't it? And I'm yeah. a big faffer. I do keep thinking in an end of the world situation that I am gonna like because I live on the fourth floor of a building. Yeah. Mm. So I feel like I'm kind of like good. Because it, if a tsunami comes, maybe it'll reach the top of the, hopefully, it, it'll be fine. I'm thinking any tsunami where I live is going to be You think like the tsunami is the one you're most at risk for in London? Yeah. <laughs> I do. You never Poppy? know. Poppy? <laughs> what do you, you think? never know. I, I worry about this stuff all the time. I'm yeah. all like, like, literally today I was like, I, I either think there's a murderer in the house constantly yeah. and I get yeah. terrified. Mm-hmm. Literally, I watched a TikTok about like a boy that went missing mm-hmm. and then suddenly I was like, yeah, I think there's a fucking person in the house now. And then I couldn't yeah. work out before. It was just like, if Wait, you stop... Wait, the boy in you, the house? No, no, oh, no. Yeah. I think he's in it. He's got the complete <laughs> wrong end of the stick. I'm going to have a look under the stairs. Found him. <laughs> <laughs> He went under the stairs. <laughs> yeah, okay, it's so wrong. But then Scared what do you lad. do? So, like, we all know that moment. You're, you're home alone and yeah. you think there's someone in the house who means you ill. You know, what do you do? You know that has happened to me twice. What, there's been someone, someone in, the in my house? <gasps> yeah, yeah, But yeah. genuinely there? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. Like, I've, what, so this happened in, like, a two-week period of, like, I was living in Dublin. Yeah. Uh, I was doing comedy. This is about eight years ago. I uh-huh. Think. And uh, I came home from a gig, and my landlady, who was, like, really security-averse, like, she just wasn't great yeah, yeah, with, yeah, like, yeah, locking yeah. her doors and shit, I uh, heard some footsteps upstairs, thought it was my landlady, oh was my calling God. her down because I'd just roasted some nuts. Like, I was in about 20 minutes in the house with this person upstairs. <laughs> and, like, well, yeah, yeah. Well, Slip it was... that in. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Macadamia and uh, maple oh, nice. syrup and sea salt. That's it was oh, pretty really lovely. lovely. Well done, you. Yeah. Yeah. So the smell was amazing. And I called down my landlady because uh, I was, like, wanting her to have a look at these nuts. And, like, what came down? Come and have a look. Yeah, it was a man who came down the stairs with, like, a pill case over his face to hide his identity what the fuck? and instead of going out the front door he came into the kitchen to me because he knew i was on my own fuck off. and he he had a knife and oh uh, my yeah 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 he uh, how are you not trauma responsing to this but you are to the, <laughs> the milk yeah. i know <laughs> <laughs> well like... actually let's not question his mental health <laughs> <laughs> reaction is your reaction and this <laughs> makes sense so he he came in and he's like car keys car keys and i was like uh uh well i tried to learn how to drive when i was 15 but i couldn't work the <laughs> clutch and i was like overly explaining to this man i was like apologizing for not having a car oh, been to escaping but he, he saw my bag and he went for my bag yeah i ran out the door i always keep my phone on my bra people tell me, me unsafe yeah. they're like you got titty cancer and i'm like not today bitch and i was like <laughs> 
it. <laughs> and I ran out, screamed. Uh, uh, this like 14 year old girl of a chihuahua came up, and I was looking at her like, "You're not going to help anyone." And uh, he ran out. Then moved out of that house because I didn't want to live in that house. Yeah, no, oh fair enough. God. New house. Mm-hmm. Told the landlord what had happened to me. He said, like, oh, "I'm getting a new front door because the door is old and like you know you want to fight." Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, mate. Problem was, the person who installed the door left the old door beside the front door. So anyone that was passing it who was a bit iffy would be like, oh, "Give that a go." So me and my new flatmate oh, were watching Taken Two. We came. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, in the cinema. We came home from watching it. I'm like discussing it and shit. We walk in, we look upstairs, and there's two men with crowbars at the top of the stairs. Oh, fuck off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm like, to, to like, uh, my mate, like, her name is Heisen. I was like, um, I was like, I know what to do. Because she's from South Korea. Uh-huh. And I was like, uh, so I rolled up into a ball in front of the front door and I started swearing at them. I was like, I'm going to call the police so hard when you fucking leave. And they, <laughs> God up. love them, they were like bears. God love them. Yeah. God love them. <laughs> well, they were the they gentlemen. They broken in with the crowbar. They were yeah. gentlemen robbers because they were more afraid of me than I was of them, really. They wanted to get out, but the problem was that my body was rolled up in a ball in front of the front door. So they were trying to open the front door. It wasn't opening. So they just like <laughs> lightly footed me to the side. <laughs> like a pair of like oh, dirty God. underwear just like flicked me to the side and left and uh, then my, my mate Heisen she mm. had like 2,000 quid in South Korean money uh-huh. and a fiver yeah. in English pounds and they only took the fiver because they didn't know the 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 worth of the South Korean money convert it just quickly <laughs> so felt you like need I'd to won. re like you need to change the definition of a gentleman <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not okay with that. <laughs> like so, he kicked you out of the way. Yeah, I'm like, like, traumatizing. I like the one. I don't want to say because when it happens to you, you compare the two. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah, like. Yeah. Uh, but when that, uh, so I'm really afraid of. Uh, I was cat sitting for my. I was cat sitting for Deborah Francis White actually. Clang. She's got lovely. I know. <laughs> I thought you'd want that on a podcast. A bit of a name. And uh, she, she's these cats, and the cats. Uh, I was staying in her house, but the cats sound like men going up and down the stairs. <laughs> and like I was men. like, yeah, they do. Oh. Like, boom, 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 going up and down the stairs. Mm. So I like locked myself into a toilet, started crying and called my boyfriend. Oh, and I was no. like, you're going to have to come around. These cats are like men. <laughs> Stop. So, yeah, yeah. Proper, oh. yeah. So like, uh, I, I, I mean, you know. We were just chatting, just, you know, we were doing hypotheticals. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We were very much on the page of like, oh, oh Poppy, God. what would you do in I an like, end situation? Uh, or if someone's in your house, what would you do? And then you went, here's two more traumas. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm going to go through them in order. Yeah. That was one of my Edinburgh shows. I'm just like, trauma, trauma, trauma. <laughs> do you feel like you've just done a show? I know. Yeah, that's what... Like, wow. the ga- but I would have put the gagging at 40 minutes. Oh, you would, Personally, yeah. Personally, I would have put the dairy at 40. <laughs> little, a little glass of milk beside me. Yes. I'm not afraid anymore. You, know? <laughs> you have a baby bell to start the show. Yeah. That would have been impossible for me eight years ago. Go on a journey. <laughs> A ba 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 baby, baby bell, bell. <laughs> <laughs> ba 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 burglary. <laughs> no, sorry. Let's go. Yeah. Um, should we do a little problem then? Let's yeah. Shall we? Yeah. Shall we? Okay. Uh. <laughs> This is the end of all of our careers. <laughs> I know. How many asking us for advice? <laughs> I'm hearing that. Yeah. I still can't stop thinking about you gagging. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry, Andrew. Oh, I'm God. ready. Okay. okay. Uh, this is from G. Hi, G. Hey, G. Hi, G. So, hi, Trusty Hogs. Hi. Uh, I'm seeing a few uh, girlfriends this weekend. Love I've it. seen over a year. Oh, yeah. I love oh. them all very much, uh, and they're not particularly judgmental or critical people. However, they are very athletic and slender, and in contrast, over the past year, I've gained quite a lot of weight. Yay! Uh, I'm worried it's going to be an obvious elephant in the room situation, and I don't know if it would be oh. worse if it is mentioned by the others during the weekend, or if it's not mentioned uh. at all. I think we've done this one. <laughs> you reckon? I think M read it out. Oh, I see. I didn't listen back to that episode. That's, that's so that's bad, isn't it? I was just thinking. <laughs> really embarrassing. I swear I've heard this one. Can, can, you, can you do me a favour? Can you team me up for the problem again? And I'll, yeah. I'll do a different one. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm so sorry. Yeah. I was literally listening to that going like, I swear we had a fat lass who was feeling awkward last time. <laughs> sorry, like, sorry. how many awkward fat lasses are there listening to this? I mean, Why not last? Lot, it's the pandemic. A lot, a, lot, a, lot, yeah. a lot of gals are a lot of like, joy. what do I do? And it's like, you're fine. A lot of them are joining our ranks. Okay. And I'm okay. like, oh. Let's go, all that, Al. Let's go, let's go. Let's, go. Um, let's do a problem. We're going to do it. We're going to do it. I'm focused. Okay. Hi, Hogs. Hi. Uh, Hi. Oh, what was this that? I don't know. Panic. From v. V. <laughs> v. So lately, I've been feeling pretty alone at school. No. I used to feel like oh. I was in loads of friend groups and oh. always had someone to talk to. Lately, though, I feel like the friend I have is this one girl. And she's so wonderful, and I'm happy with that. Oh. But the problem is, she's friends with this other girl I struggle being around. Here we oh. fucking go. It's the yeah. sugar babes yeah. all over yeah. again. <laughs> uh, me and my friends are both recovering from eating disorders, and her friend is too. Oh, my thing God. Is, her friend makes a lot of eating disorder jokes and says things that make it harder for me to keep recovering. Should I tell her how much her jokes bother me and li- risk losing my friend or try to get through it? Brackets, note, I have tried talking to my friend about this before, um, and she feels bothered by the jokes too. So that's the situation. What is the best course? She needs to know how they make you feel. Mm -hmm. Mm. Like, she Mm. does. She does. And I think it's such an... Obviously, like, hope your recovery goes really well. Yeah. It's a very difficult thing. Good luck Mm. with it. Sending lots of love. Tell the fucking bitch to cool it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. are you fucking kidding? Because it is triggering when you're trying to go over it and someone's making light yeah, of something. Yeah, that's mad. I make light of things all the time. I am that toxic friend in the group. Yeah, but if someone 100%, tells you... But if someone says, hey, just so you know, at the moment, I mm. can't handle this, then you know to leave it. Have they all had eating disorders? All three of them? Oh, come or on. We've, all, we've all had one at some point. <laughs> you got to dabble. you got to dabble. I fucking dabble. went through it. I love yeah, them. It's like Wicker, yeah, know, yeah, everyone girl, has a girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You are right, all three, yes, all three, all, all three. three. Okay. Yeah. This might be her coping mechanism. Yeah, yeah. But it's making it clear mm. to this third friend, hey, like I'm going to that's your coping mechanism. Mm. We can't handle it, so let's agree between the three of us that this is something that we can't do. Yeah, or what you could do is you could uh, maybe demean that friend that you don't like that much to your other friend oh. and freeze her out. And yeah. <laughs> Make <laughs> yeah. sure you make it as toxic Please, yeah. as possible for yeah. each other. Why not make up a lie that yeah. they've talked about that other friend? Do you know what I mean? Yes. Be like, look, uh, she was joking quite a lot about you to me, and I, I just want to tell you. And then uh... it's so tricky because when you like, don't do that. Please don't do that. <laughs> Obviously, we're not qualified, and you know that. But it's like you're in a group of three friends because you want everyone, and groups of threes are so fucking difficult. Very right? difficult. Yeah. This, yeah. So have you ever been struggling? It's a handle. This is the handle. Yeah. Hand yeah. hand yeah. yeah. I've just spent most of this episode, my love, V, in a ball in the corner, just rocking back and forth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> but I do think. Yeah. Number one, you said you were at school. Amazingly, you've already got this language and you're thinking this way. Yeah, they're, they're, that generation. Because I'll great. be like, so when they looked at me wrong, I'm not talking to them for two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, and then yeah. I would if I wanted to go to I their thought, party. Yeah. But <laughs> you can say, if it makes you feel awkward, just say, this is, makes me feel uncomfortable. I wouldn't speak on behalf of your other friend because they no. might be comfortable saying it to them yet. Mm. Doesn't mean you have to be friends anymore. Mm. It might mean that your friendship changes for a bit. Yes. But friendships do change. Yeah. Over the years, they Nothing do. Nothing lasts forever. Mm. You know? They shift in vibe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they do. And we were just discussing earlier before we even start doing the podcast about yes. like some days with people a conversation can be great yes. and very chill and then other days it goes a completely different way yeah because yeah, yeah, they're yeah. feeling different you're feeling different totally so try and be mindful of her situation because it sounds like that's her coping mechanism mm-hmm. and i think that person knows that that's yeah. in, in its heart isn't it mm-hmm. yeah, um, yeah 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 so genuinely uh yeah i, I do think uh, like how do you <laughs> communicate that's the only thing and it's so easy to say and how it's did so teenage hard. girls in our generation deal with it i do think it Secret, was like we always went to the bathroom and threw up or starved ourselves at home like yeah, 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 really yeah, yeah. obsessive food diary keeping but it was all very hidden from each other yeah whilst mm. reading Jacqueline Wilson books about it and not putting <laughs> yeah. two and two together. Yeah. And then basically when we were all like 25, 26, we were like, oh, did you two? Oh, me too. Oh, for fuck. We put a bunch of this hair. Like very disappointing. When you yeah. <laughs> like, oh, you are. Oh, what's the, which one? Oh, my maths block. For I was in science. <laughs> like passing ships. Like passing <laughs> ships in the night. What, first break? Oh, second. Bloody hell. Uh, <laughs> Um, 
But yeah, it's so tricky because I am the friend who would make fun of it, I even know, though me too, even me if too. I was struggling. Oh, like me, me and a mate that lived together, we had both had very traumatic things happen to us, <sighs> and we used to, it was it was like if we would get cancelled talking yeah. about ourselves do you know what i mean oh, yeah. yeah it was disgusting that's how i deal with stuff i i just take the piss out of it but i think if there was other people that had gone through the same stuff i don't know i can imagine them being like maybe it's a kind of thing of comparing trauma as well where they're all kind don't, of yeah, like yeah. oh you know maybe hers wasn't as bad as mine oh that's what i was totally like that that's all what it is it's comparing tragedies my mum was distant my mum's dead yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> Or two fucking chairs. Anything to win. <laughs> top top trumps. Um, yeah. So what what is our advice then? Our advice you're is you're gonna have to find a way to communicate. communicate with her. And I feel like the fact that you even asked this means that you are capable of doing that, which is an amazing thing. Yeah, just thing. talk yeah. to her. Just you, talk to you her. could go like, "That's not funny." Yeah. Mm. And then bring it on to something else, or yeah. you're like heard that one before uh, that will create animal what i will though. say as someone who has been at <laughs> school comedian. and knows that sometimes Boring. <laughs> they do. heard that one two stars that's a hack <laughs> fucking female comics always talking uh, about their eating disorder uh, give it a fucking rest what i will say <laughs> is it's very easy to think oh i need to talk to this person about this thing and then put it off and then it comes out in like a moment of anger when you say it yeah. wrong mm. or you say it how you don't mean to or you sort of have it you remember when like you'd have something in your back pocket you do it with like a partner or like whatever mm, yes. and you would just sort of like whip it out yeah oh yeah yeah, at yeah time yeah, when yeah, they like yeah. accuse you of something you go like well you do this that's totally this is time. something which if you can find it in yourself to not have it as that card oh well i don't know but do. sometimes that's quite handy yeah, yeah. Feels amazing. <laughs> and you can retrospectively reference it yeah but communicate, talk to someone, and recovery is a long journey. Yeah, it really is. I wanna, I wanna like Do anyone you... who like has an eating disorder. I just wanna like mm. pick them up and be like, it fucking sucks. But we all have one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're is, all together. Is the problem that that person's joking about it, or is it because they're not good jokes? Because maybe you could help them with their material. That's true. <laughs> you know, talk it through rules of three. You go, That's why is so that true. funny? Yeah, 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 well, yeah, yeah. Why don't you do that? Like, Lighting if they workshops. if they won't stop joking about it, make them get better. Yeah. And you just go two stars. Yeah. Two stars. <laughs> you think you're gonna get on stand up sketch show with that shit? Stand up no. sketch show is the one. Would you, yeah. Could you imagine doing a stand up sketch show about? I know you've been I on it. it. Yeah. I pitched it for both seasons I did, and both times they were like, "We're not doing a bulimia skit, Helen." And I'm like, "The budget's nothing. Just I a treated... bit of veggie soup, <laughs> carrot and coriander." When I oh, was that your option? That was my option. Mixed in with apple juice when it comes out of your mouth, or when it's on the floor, you mash in a, a digestive biscuit into it oh. to give it more texture. I hope that solved your problem, V. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like that has um, just lots of love and like it sucks. And also you will make other friends if it doesn't work out with these ones. Yeah. yeah. yeah I'm going to yeah, be ditching yeah, yeah, Alison yeah. and Poppy after this. <laughs> <laughs> we all move on, don't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going to freeze all... you both out. Yeah. <laughs> how would you do it? Happy I'll freeze. I don't know. How would I freeze? But I'm not very good at freezing people. I didn't want to bring this up, but Helen has been quite like industrial language about you before. <laughs> Industrial. And the industrial. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what it is, but I have done it. What <laughs> is, oh, like like Poppy's like a heavy goods vehicle. Oh, yeah. shit. That sort of stuff. I watched any <laughs> language but industrial language. That's it for Poppy's me. Poppy's like a, a factory. <laughs> for machines. Efficient, efficient, efficient. And, 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 <laughs> I watched Poppy. The... Poppy is a pencil factory. <laughs> She's a pencil I, don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm trying to be machine based. She's a she's a dildo factory. There's so many in her. <laughs> Very droll. Like no, I, I like, like that. that. Yeah, I yeah, like that's that. Good. Yeah. We're working back in the group. <laughs> Before we, before we freeze each other out, yeah. okay, which I, by the way, I'm pretty sure in modern day to freeze someone out, you start with the unfollow. Oh, okay. yeah, soft, yeah, yeah, soft yeah, block. Yeah, yeah. Is that what it, I've only ever done it once, but it was someone soft who didn't like block. me either. And we finished school and we weren't in the same school together anymore. So I was like, we don't have to be Facebook yeah, friends. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, I can just yeah, like, yeah, you can just, good. let's just go We're our separate fine. ways. Yeah. We never Amicable. had like an actual argument. Mm -hmm. I just, we just both just, we were not on the same yeah. page. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was really mean to loads of people. Oh. Never took on me, but she took on, oh, shit. But just unfollowed her and just good luck yeah. with your life. Yeah. I wish you no ill. Mm. Now free. fuck off and fall in a well. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, she still hasn't. <laughs> oh, I've let go of it. Please, please, please plug yourselves. Oh, and right. then we'll put an end to this oh, absolute yeah, yeah. sick piss <laughs> shit mess of a show. I've got a headache strain from like not <laughs> vomiting. A plug? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, new headache strain. Let's bring it out. <laughs> Tiger bomb. Tiger bomb. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Alison <laughs> spittle tiger bar. Tiger bar. Wow. <laughs> you know what? I'm I'm gonna be tagging Alison yes. and Poppy yes. and everything about them. <laughs> Just go follow them online. Yeah. Just give, give your handle. Yes. Po- hey so at Alison Spittle on Instagram and on Twitter, I got a podcast called Wheel of Misfortune and another podcast called Alison Spittle Show. Go Both fucking them. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And an Edinburgh yeah, yeah. show coming out. Yeah. 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 I've called it Wet. Oh, yeah, because yes. you, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're a wet lass. Yeah. <laughs> wet lass. Um, you can follow me on Instagram Love at it. Poppy Hill Stud. And yes. I've got a podcast, new series of Poppy Hill Stud <gasps> the chat coming out really soon. When I finish it, when I do it. <laughs> Exciting, guys. But you still got things, you've got like a whole season to listen to now. You got so just like go yeah, for it. Yeah, free. It's free you've got series. You three can have a look. full series. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing listening to this? <laughs> I'm subscribe from Trusty Hog. Subscribe. <laughs> the 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 world. We're the best fortune. Done. Hey. Thank you so much for listening. This is the end of all of us. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye. 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 Right, let's do those trigger warnings. <laughs> Patreons, because we have to say thank you. You made our dreams come true. You honestly have been. You allowed us to. Well, you allowed me to spend the money that we would have earned this month on hiring a psychic. We spent what now? (laughs) Okay, yeah. I was just gonna message it to Andrew. Uh, (laughs) Thank you to our producers, Kira Leach, Richard Bicknell, S Dubs, L, Richard Ball, Sadie Cashmore, Zoe, Kaylin Lies, Kaylin Lies, Kaylin Leach, Melissa Dunkeld, Dunkeld. Oh, I've really lost Dunkle. it now. Yeah, Victoria Dunkle. Hutchison, Emma Walton, Karen Bull, Harold yes. Van Dyke, yes. Anthony Conway, yes. Tim and Dom, Joe yes. Holmes, Sarah and Molly, Bennett Mancini. I love Mancini, this. Mancini, that's a new yes. one, isn't it? Claire Owen Jones, Kim Doyle, David Walker, I think we Jess agreed it was Dove Gull. Dove Gull? Did we not? Lee Ma- Myers, Cough, Rachel R. Neil Redmond, Aidan McQueen, and Carrick Duke. You bunch of legends. Thank you for producing thank you, our thank show. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. And as ever, thanks. And all the executive producers. I always feel like I need to do something like a sexy voice for this. I know you should. Simon Moores, Guy mm. Goodman, Janina Bautista, and Mary Fox. Oh my God, leave a condom That's in there. Leave, leave a Janina condom in there. Janina. Thank you so much. I loved it. Also, Simon Moores came to my Soho run. Shut up. Yeah, and was like... With, having a chat with the gorgeous people who came to, with him and they basically made the, the, the conclusion of the chat was that if both of our mothers had a podcast it would be better than our podcast how crazy insulting is that are you fucking kidding no it was like trusty hags and i hey oh it. actually right okay right come on i know well yeah i get it i get it <sighs> in a dream I get world it. yeah but um they thank you for supporting this thank podcast so until much. that podcast overtakes us <laughs> truly <laughs> <laughs>